Okay, eighth graders, hey, check this out. Um, for your assignment today, I'm gonna have you guys do some uh, geography practice. Um, I'm sending you a link here to the uh, US States Level 3 quiz, which is right here. There's several different geography quizzes here. And I'm gonna upload the link to Level 3, but there are um, different quizzes that you can take all the way up to Level 7 that have different degrees of difficulty. but um, I'd like you to start at level three. Basically, you've been doing um, level one with the uh, lizard point quizzes. So let's up the game here. All right, this is what a level three looks like on this um, on this website here. All right, hit play. And in the top left corner of the map, as you can see here, it's going to say state to drag onto the map. And so you need to just click the state and then drag it to where it goes. Which, uh, and if you're off, as you can see, um, it's going to tell you where to go. All right, so there yeah. we go. I put Arkansas there. The next day that pops up is South Dakota. Uh, I think South Dakota somewhere around here, right, right about there. Oh, no, right there. Um, some tips for you as New Jersey pops up. Uh, New Jersey is a coastal state over here. Look for... Two things, look for the borders here, and you have all of these distinct features along the border uh, that you can get a side of this state to line up with or a couple sides of a state to line up with. So um, I know that New Jersey, I, I know where all the states are because I teach social studies, but New, I know that New Jersey is over here somewhere on the East Coast. And so I'm going to click the state and I'm going to drag and I'm going to kind of like move it around over here and see if I can't get it to line up with something. And I notice here, oh, look at that. It's got the little point on the bottom that's lining up and that little um, like bulge on the side kind of lines up. So I'll just put it right there. And yep, that's where New Jersey goes. Um, here's another one, Louisiana. I know that it's down here somewhere. It's got a really distinct bottom to it. You see that? Point that juts out on the bottom right and so I can get it to line up right there with the bottom of the border I'm trying to find one that has a river here we go perfect that's what I was looking for if you look very closely you can see the light blue lines on the map and a lot of rivers are borders for states and Kentucky is one of those so as you can see the top of Kentucky has this really, really squiggly border. That's because it's a river. So I'm going to kind of move this around and see, like, let's see, the, is it this river here? Not really. That doesn't look like it's lined up. Is it this river here? Not really. It doesn't look like it's this river here. But if I move it over here, I go, try this river. No. But all of a sudden, look at this. Oh, look how well that lines up. The top border of Kentucky lines up perfectly with that river. And if I drop it in a place right here, yep, that's where Kentucky goes. Um, here we go, Alabama. Um, I know it's down here somewhere. I'm going to put that into place. I think it goes right there. I can tell by the very bottom, that part that sticks in there. Alabama, yes. in the Gulf of Mexico, Texas goes here. Yes. So here's another one with the river bottom. As you can see, Indiana has a very squiggly line on the bottom. And I'm going to kind of move that around and see where this squiggly line fits. And if I keep moving around the rivers a little bit, look how well that lines up right there with the river that's also the border of Kentucky. So have fun with this. Um, complete this and then take a screenshot of this map once you have it absolutely 100% complete. And then upload it to Google Classroom, and that is your assignment for today. Enjoy the practice.